Beautiful people, what's happening? Chris Cadenhead, uh, let us dive into this V Tines library. Not really deep dive because there's copious amounts of videos uh, with that task already accomplished. Um, I really just want to get in here and start tweaking. Maybe we'll make some presets um, just to show you really how flexible and tweakable this one is. Um, v Tines, a Mark I suitcase, electric piano. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's just let's just get right on into it. Um, here we go. V Tines right here. My green recording in the background. Um, so yeah, what I did, I just went ahead and uh, created a bass preset for myself that I dig the the style or the vibe that I go for. Um, I have here, just like with any DAW, I'm using Studio One, I prefer Studio One, but with any DAW, you can map any parameter to any hardware knob. So here I'm I'm on my Nord Electro, um, and I just have this uh, vibrato intensity knob here mapped to this controller. So as you as you can tell, So that's really dope. Yeah. Am I squeaking? Yeah, squeaking a little bit. My chair is squeaking a little bit. That's all right. Um, yeah, nonetheless, you can map any parameter of this to your hardware controller, um, which is always dope if you use uh, SoftSense Live, as I have in LA here for the past five years damn near until i get this nord so um yeah yeah you can totally do that um i may make a tutorial video on using um laptops live and uh you know ableton and all that good stuff leave me a comment below if that's something you may be interested in and we'll uh we'll do the thing so um, yeah, nonetheless, uh, this is it here. The, so all the knobs, this is basically a front front panel of the uh, suitcase piano. Um, here's the intensity of the vibrato. You can change the speed. You know, get real, real weird with it. Um, but yeah. So let's just put that back up in the middle. Um, here's the EQ here. Treble and bass, you know. Um, and what's really dope is they sampled the actual sound of, like, the keys within the actual instrument. So, like, if we turn up the acoustic volume, as they labeled it, peep. That's like if it was closed and it wasn't plugged into anything, which is super dope. So yeah, uh, you can get really uh, niche with your sound, as it were. And uh, yeah, man, just incredibly tweakable. Um, super dope, like clean sounding drive uh, oxymoron for sure. However, not every drive is please pleasing. You know what I'm saying? So um, if we were to just sustain a chord, turn up this drive. Like it's starting to break up really nice. Doesn't sound too tinny or, you know what I mean? It's just real creamy, gushy, as it were. Yeah, um, and then the verb, 
Sounds like a spring reverb, which is really cool. Yeah, so matter of fact, let's turn both of these on right now. What I like doing is like I've been messing with this Nord. Um, I have like a preset that I made with this Rhodes and, um, you know, I'm going to try to like replicate that with this interface here. Um, I do have some drive on there, some verb. Not that much. Let's see. Yeah, that sounds pretty dope right there. Okay. All right, right on. So uh, let's go into this amp section. Um, if any of you have owned a suitcase as I have, this looks super familiar and uh, nostalgic. Check this out. The amp noise. <laughs> Again, if you combine the amp noise with, you know, that other acoustic piece you know you can just re you can get real super creative with it and again like especially with this library in particular but you know all of the acoustic samples libraries it's the uh the attention to detail that really sets these cats apart in my opinion um so you know yeah that's the vibe so dig uh the distance of the mics right here you know so like if we bring him, bring him back a little bit. Hold on, let me turn off this reverb. That's not helping at all. Yeah, so. So here's close. Let's do it far away. And you can turn up this ambience. You know, so you get a little, so many variations in sound or recording setups. Um, yeah, so, you know, for the tweak heads, uh, you're in heaven here on this joint. So, but yeah, um, A, B pair, you know, or TF, just the different uh, mic setups. You can put the mics in the back or the front of the cabinet. Which sound like this. Let me turn this tremolo off. Yeah, so that's in front as opposed to back. Yeah, a bit more roomy. What's this ambience? Okay, that's dope. Same thing, distance. Yeah, so, you know, anyway, super tweakable. All right, so many other videos go through all that. Um, let's, like I said, let's just start, like, trying to make some uh, some presets. Before we do that, though, talk about tweakability. Um, this, like, if you open the hood, this is what you're going to see um, in the action. So this time height here on the real thing this is how you quote unquote voice the instrument like you know make it uh tone wise make get it to how you want it so with it all the way up the uh what they call the fundamental is present so it's a lot more round the tone deeper and as we they call shallow you can get a shallow sound which i i sort of prefer um somewhere in the middle but yeah it's just super dope hella dope you can you can get in do your thing um but yeah all right cool so all this here you can see that on the other on the other videos um let's make um presets so like uh, the first one that comes to mind uh, Billy Joel, um, don't go changing. What's that song? Yeah, uh, you know the tune. Let's, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, yeah, I want to put the mics back on the back. 
There we go. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to turn the reverb up. Jeez. Come on now. Yeah. So, so right here in the effects section, that's where we can get it popping. So I feel like maybe it's a phaser on that thing. Yeah. Let's just see what it's like, just the default setting. Yeah, that's all right. Let's tweak the... No. Speed. Um, somebody, somebody leave a comment. Like if, if you know what the actual pedal was that they used, maybe it was like a biphase or so, or a Mutron or something like that. Um, on the original recording, I'm curious to know that myself. Uh, but yeah, so. I mean, that sounds, you know, that sounds not, not bad. So, uh, yeah, so you can, you know, get that. What's the chorus like? Depth. Yeah, so Ottawa clearly. Come on, baby. Let's see. Um Yeah, and if you have so I have a uh I have a um so I have an expression pedal here. You can map you know, I could map that to this parameter if I wanted to and, uh, you know, really make the wah happen. Oh, it's set to volume now. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Uh, but yeah, so... What's a song? Oh, that's actually a clav, but, you know, hey. Still dope that they included the wah in here. Um... What's another, let's see, classic ro uh, Rhodes? Oh. Let's see. Let's groove. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to ask my dude. Let's see. Flanger? No. Pretty sure it's chorus. Nice, yeah. So you got all your all your uh, top forty needs covered here. So yeah, um, delay. Woo! Yes, sir. That's killing. Headhunters vibe all day. Huh? Mix. Spacey. 
Turn the feedback up. All the things, all the things. Um, oh, word, rotor cabinet. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool that it's there. Um, you know, probably wouldn't use it. Um, by the way, the B5 organ for the organ players, um, by acoustic samples, mind bottling. I'm talking about mind bottling. Yo, it's so good. All right. Tube saturation. What's, what's the word? Oh, that must be what's on the front panel. Control. It sounds like the same drive. That's really cool though. They had that on the thing. Uh, yeah, okay, so these two are on the front panel, which is dope. Oh, okay, word, yes. Spring plate. Ah, dope. So you can make it all wet. Add some delay. Yeah, so you, make, so you can make like a pad. pretty cool yeah that's dope they include the different so there's a real room okay nice yeah man super super tweakable this library is ridiculously close dare I say uh Sorry, I, yeah, I, I pretty much like this better than Keyscape, yo. Not gonna front. Scar, the, the Scar EP 88 classic, you know, EPs or what have you, uh, that's my favorite. Um, but this joint, just be, just cause of, just strictly based on, um, the tweakability of it, um, like, yeah, it was really, was hella dope. You can go in here in the um, preferences and like tweak each note so like you can create your own custom you know like you can you can give it character each note you can change the pitch of it you know like like it's an old dusty roads that's been in you know grandma's basement for however long yeah it's it's man it's, it's crazy dope so um yeah v tines y'all check it out acoustic samples uh the best roads library and it's like 80 megabytes so if you're running out of storage uh or what have you you know because of the the combination of modeling and you know the, the model being based off of samples super small footprint um you know it's pretty light on cpu so you know it checks all the boxes for me so definitely check it out um follow me on instagram at caden and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace and love, babies.